What I do, I'm, I'm a journalist. I go to the worst places in America. And this is a story about the worst people I've ever met. That I felt like they stole my soul. So yes, this story does fit in the theme, <laughs> in case you're wondering, at the end. And if you don't agree that these people, after hearing this story, are the worst people in the world, I don't think I can talk to you afterwards. So. I got fish sticks, screams dad, who unintentionally looks like a funny cartoon character with matching red hat and shirt. The kids are out back, wildly jumping on the trampoline in a backyard that looks like it's pulled out of the Brady Bunch or Full House. Clearly, I've stumbled into someone's utopian vision of the American dream. Come and get your fish sticks. Shrieks of delight. The kids come running hyperactively into the house, energized before their regular Saturday afternoon family picket. Do you want some fish sticks? Says dad with a kindly, friendly smile. No, I grunt. I'm really not hungry. Mom's in the living room on the phone, deep in the middle of a brainstorming session. Occasionally, she lets out a loud cackle. Popping my head around the corner, she's giggling like a schoolgirl flirting with her junior high science class boyfriend. <laughs> Cops die, and God laughs. Snickers, Mom. <laughs> that, that's good. That's really, really good. More smiles, more laughs, more cackling. When finished, mom excitedly explains, there's a dead cop in Baltimore. Three of us are going to go pick at his funeral. Because in the Bible, hon, it says a three-fold cord is always the strongest. OK. Uh, so how do you think uh, this will go over? I say, gesturing to a large, colorful sign that says, thank God for dead cops. <laughs> They're not going to like it. They're not going to like it at all, says mom, who's better known to the rest of the world as Shirley Phelps, head of the infamous Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas. Shirley and the Phelps family have opened up their home to me so I can get a firsthand tainted taste of their utopian American dream. Do you know what I'm going to pack? A step stool. Gleams Shirley like the ugly girl at the dance. Happy. She's now getting all the attention. Because if they keep pushing us, we're just going to push right back. It's true. Shirley and her subtly named picket group, and did I say subtly named picket group? God hates fags. <laughs> subtly named picket group have had everything thrown at them from bricks and eggs to bags of urine. Lately, infuriated people have driven cars directly at them. <laughs> but that's not going to stop Shirley in her pursuit of the American dream. If a guy shows up there with a gun, do you know what's going to happen, hon? That gun's going to backfire. Why? Because the Lord is on our side. OK, I say, shifting uncomfortably. Um, worst case scenario, if the gun doesn't backfire <laughs> without hesitation, then he'll deliver us. We momentarily fall into an awkward silence as kids squeal from the kitchen and I contemplate career choices. <laughs> Dad interrupts the stony silence with one final question. Last chance for fish sticks. Okay, does, does it make me a bad person if I eat fish sticks with cult members of an extreme hate group? I don't think that's a reflection on me. I think that's a reflection on fish sticks. <laughs> They're delicious at any occasion. <laughs> <laughs> with fish sticks finished, jubilant little kids pile into the back of the family minivan. Everyone's happy. Everyone's excited. Everyone's smiling. Kids with curly, tousled hair, looking like they're straight out of a fruit roll-ups commercial, with names plucked from the Bible like Jonah and Jariah, all revved up. 
for their regular Saturday family outing. You, you guys look playing giddy back there, I say to a trio of teenage girls who are giggling like sorority sisters on their way to spring break in Cabo. Yeah, yeah says the wild-eyed one. Um, how, how many people get to be the mouthpiece for their Lord? <laughs> we're, we're, we're the luckiest people on earth. As the minivan drives off, I become the wet blanket that dampens everyone's Jesus-loving soiree by asking Shirley the obvious. How would, how would you, what would you think if someone, like, picked your family's funeral? Hun, if I have a dead child, last thing I'd be concerned about is a bunch of picketers. That's my time to make peace with the Lord. She says without indecision and kind of an awkward thing to say in front of your own kids. But today we're not picketing a family funeral or a soldier's funeral. Today there's bigger fish sticks to fry. <laughs> there's an entertainment entertainer in town, says Shirley. We're going to go picket his performance. Oh, yeah? Entertainment? Really? Uh, who? Larry the Cable Guy from the Blue Collar Comedy Tour? <laughs> you, you mean get her done, I say, referring to the comedian by his beloved catchphrase? We're, we're, we're going to go picket stand-up comedy? <laughs> I'm, I'm bat shittily confused. So many thoughts are racing to my, through my head. Is it, is it because Larry the Cable Guy is gay, or is it because, like, the, the Westboro Baptist Church doesn't find Larry the Cable Guy funny? <laughs> Shirley thinks for a moment, then lets out a big smile. Well, he's got some funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, why go pick at his comedy show? The mood turns somber. Larry the Cable Guy has a pulpit, and he could be preaching about the Lord. Get her done, I was again say. <laughs> Me and Shirley aren't on the same page with many, 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 many things. This being one of them. <laughs> the Topeka Art Senator, comedy night. Fans slowly trickle in with big smiles. And here comes the Westboro Baptist Church, ready to shit in the pool. <laughs> Cars pull up. Little kids come piling out. They come running out of breath with jubilant joys of childhood plastered across their faces. A chubby little red-haired girl grabs a sign. She clearly can't comprehend the message that says, all fags must die. <laughs> little Jonah confused, grabs a sign that says, uh, uh, Pope in hell. <laughs> Dad lets out a friendly chuckle. Oh, sweetie, you don't want the Pope in hell sign. This isn't a Catholic church. But I want it, he whines. Dad calms him down by handing him a sign that says, thank God for dead soldiers. As the Phelps family, all shapes and sizes, careens down the city block and breaks into a rousing chorus of this is Fagland. The tiniest join in with the most vigor, swaying their heads like it were the Tickle Me Elmo song. The chubby little red-haired girl actually jumps while singing. She's just that happy. <laughs> After someone drives by and screams, fuck off, dumbasses, I ask little Jonah, um, what's the favorite thing about picketing with your family? Uh, I, I like when people drive by and yell things. Because I like yelling back at them, the truth. <laughs> then, without segue, have, have you seen the movie Brokeback Mountain? It's a sick and disgusting movie. My mom told me all about it. Hey, Jonah, could I have a word with you, says Dad. And with that, my little amigo is whisked away in fear he might say something stupid that would make his family look like idiots. <laughs> but still, you haunts. You flip-offs, seldom, so seldom do people drive by and scream, fuck off, morons. It's as if the Westboro Baptist Church has blended into the Topeka backdrop like kitschy, absurdist theater, but without the irony. <laughs> yeah, after you've been here for over 10 years, people are kind of over it, says Shirley, with a little bit of disappointment. We stand there in silence.
until finally, thank God, finally, someone drives by and screams, you're a bunch of fucking retards. Shirley retorts the heckle by firing back with, obey your Bible, sir. Boom. He's been served. <laughs> when we start packing things up, there's one last final confrontation. A kindly man in a leather vest comes over to the group. He gets down on one knee, and he addresses the children. You see, children, there's a whole world out there not filled with hate. The little kids look confused. He directs his attention to little Jonah. You see, young man, hating people is wrong. Code red, <laughs> screams Shirley as the adult members surround the children. You can't talk to those kids like that. Have you been drinking, sir? You got drinky breath. He's got drinky breath. Back in the minivan, Shirley makes several references to the Roman chapter of the Bible. When she's finished, I asked her, where, where do you think your American dream will be 10 years from now? 10 years from now? <laughs> That's optimistic, hon. This won't be around 10 years from now. True. Numerous family members are rapidly leaving the church. States are passing funeral picket laws. Gramps is dead. Locals are less phased by their crazy antics. It's as if the Westboro's Baptist Church's cruel message has been silenced by an outraged and disgusted America. And besides, the world, according to Shirley, is coming to an end. Ten years from now, we'll have the Red Sea in front of us and the Romans at our back. Shirley says with a glint in her eye, and if uh, someone before then takes you out, I ask, uh, would that be God's will? Exactly, she says. True, because you have to remember, in the world of the Westboro Baptist Church, Jesus always hates you, so come and get your fish sticks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>